Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK out foraging again. It's the 24th of August today and I'm in Herefordshire. And um, we've had a mixed day today, mushroom foraging. We found a couple of nice parasols, a couple of nice peppery belites and a few other bits and bobs, lots of toxic or semi-toxic fungi, but by far the most numerous of the edible species that we've found today is this one down here. So because it's so common, it's one that I think that you guys should know about. It's also quite easy to identify, which is unusual for members of this mushroom genus. This is a Russula. And it's one of the few Russulas that you can quite confidently ID in the field. This is the blackening Russula, Russula nigricans, I think is uh, how you're supposed to pronounce that. And it's, it's called that, it's called the blackening Russula because it starts off, here's a little baby, which has already started to discolor, but they will start off and grow to even this size, pure white. But then what happens is, as you can see, we've got all stages of growth, the cap will start to darken go a bit darker and then eventually uh, we haven't got one completely black but you can see the gills start to go black there and this one the gills have gone almost entirely black as will the whole mushroom when it gets to full maturity now in the russula group uh, quite a lot of them are edible. Normally what you have to do, um, because it's impossible to ID them in the field, is the nibble test. All of the toxic russula will burn your tongue if you have a little nibble, but you never do the nibble test unless you are 100% sure that you have a russula. To be sure that you've got a russula, you should do a couple of checks. One of them is to check the gills. They should be brittle on all bar one of the russulas, hence the common name, the brittle gills, and the stem should snap like a piece of chalk. Now, in the whole genus, there are none with gills as brittle as this one. So I'll show you what we mean by brittle gills on this mature one here. If you have a look at what happens, they are not like flakes of almonds, like you get on the other species in the genus. These are like chunks of almonds. And that's because of the um, cellular makeup of the mushroom. They have round cells which don't fit together very well, which means that um, when you snap them, uh, they snap a bit like a piece of chalk on the stem, as you can see there. And they have a granular texture and they have those brittle gills. Now this one, as I've said, is edible. I don't need to do the nibble test with it, but I don't eat them when they get to this stage. This is kind of my ideal stage for a edible blackening russula. Even whiter than that. You basically just want them young and fresh. You can see there's no discoloring on the gills really there, still very, very brittle. And when young, like I said, a pretty good edible. And uh, considering we must have seen roughly a thousand of them today, there's a few going in the basket along with our parasols and uh, along with our peppery beliefs. It's a tricky family, this one, to ID to species, but it's a great one to get to grips with if you're a forager. There you go, blackening russula. If you want to find out more, come on one of our courses or go to wildfooduk.com.